name is Marty Otanias. Welcome to Getting High on Anthropology, a story-based approach to cannabis research, education, and funding. It is the day after 420, an intergalactic holiday that celebrates marijuana culture and cannabis studies. So um, I thought tonight would be great to maybe talk about an issue of recharging our batteries and maybe just um, you know promoting some wellness. So I have a guest with me, Jamie Lynn Thomas. She's the creator and CEO CEO of Canna Essence. Jamie, welcome to the show. <laughs> Thanks so, for having so, me, Marty. So why don't you start and give us a little bit of uh, information. First of all, describe to people what is Canna Essence, and then I'll have you describe how you got into it. So Canna Essence is a flower essence for the new consciousness. And a flower essence is an herbal extract that works with the meridian system to balance the physical, emotional, mental, spiritual levels. Excellent. So um, you could probably agree that a day after 420, uh, this is a great way to just um, kind of be centered and, and uh, refresh our batteries, as I said earlier. So um, a little bit about your background, for example, um, uh, your educational background that, that led to this and then any encounters that was a memorable moment for you to get into Canna Essence. So my background is that I have two bachelors, I have three associates and 30 plus clinical certifications in integrative therapeutics. And what really brought me to creating the Can Essence was my own journey to health. Uh, because I used to take 50 prescribed medications and was completely disabled and I used reconnection of my PEMS or my physical, emotional, mental, spiritual levels to heal my system. And I feel it's really important for a lot of folks out here. Yeah, and especially in the field of cannabis and cannabis studies, people are looking for um, high levels of health and wellness. So going back a bit, um, you had a moment you shared with me where you went to a hospital and you had a visit with a physician. So you, why did you go and have this visit? And what happened in that room that made Maybe for you was a turning point in in your career or trajectory and and uh, the issue in your uh, organization Canna Essence. That was a that was an interesting doctor visit and you got me thinking but uh, what what I noticed I was there for the doctor to go over a lot of my conditions and I had I was taking the 50 prescribed medications and when I went in there, we were trying to find something different, something new to shift and make a difference in my life. And what he suggested was using cannabis in a slightly different way. At the time I was using it to more just kind of getting high socially and kind of hidden from the world. And he suggested that I try it in a more esoteric way. Something that at the time I thought he was a complete loon uh, and, and didn't know what he was talking about. And now I, I feel blessed to have met that person who planted that seed early on in life. That's great, what a great <laughs> antidote because I think a lot of us when we visit physicians, you know, and use traditional Western medicine, um, we don't get those kinds of, uh, you know, the feedback like that from a physician. So to have a physician suggest to you to try cannabis, um, I think we want to see more of that, especially for people who find uh, they're tired of synthetics and want to maybe you know uh, reduce the amount of um, synthetic drugs that are disrupting their system. So um, specifically, what led you to start Canna Essence? <laughs> ah, the Canna Essences were burst out of a process of sitting with these beautiful cannabis plants for about six months. And sitting with the plants, they would not let me make medicine out of them for that entire six months. And at a certain point, they started talking to me and giving me some feedback and letting me know that there might be something else here with each one of the species. And I started making flower essences and experiencing huge transformations in my system and my client systems who were kind of my guinea pigs at that point in time. And I saw huge changes with them, and I never went back. <laughs> okay, it's totally fascinating because in some of my work, um, looking at occupational health and safety issues, I hear people in the grow houses talk about their babies and their girls. Okay, so in some ways you've personified these plants. So take us back, what led you and what was it like, and what was the purpose of sitting with the plants? Like why is that an essential component of Canna Essence, and what did you get out of that? 
Well, as my training as an herbalist, I had to sit with the plants. That was the beginning nature of my training, was this type of nature cure where you paid attention to a plant from the seed all the way to its death process. And you sat with it every single day, not making medicine out of it or touching it, learning what that plant specifically had its message to say to you. And I sat with dandelion. It was the first one I ever sat with for an entire year wow. before dandelion let me make medicine out of it. And that that process I brought into working with the cannabis plant because I wanted to bring more consciousness to a plant that's not always used in that way. It's more often used in a recreational, uh, more somewhat out of balance manner. And the plants really want to be used in a different way. It's here to help humanity. We have an endocannabinoid system for a reason. And I think this is part of it. Oh, it's incredible. Because <laughs> I think the methodology you used in my discipline, we would say you did some ethnographic research, participant observation uh, with plants. And increasingly in my field, the subdiscipline of cultural anthropology, um, there's a lot of individuals looking and researchers doing research on animals, plants, to get to know them at a different level and not just superficially but theoretically but also in a wellness way like you did. So um, uh, another kind of question that I think would be really interesting is the, um, the material is highly visual and there is this um, color uh, science it seems like that is at the basis of what you do. So take us to the colors and this idea of matching a person to a color. Um, if you can expand on that, that'd be really interesting. Yeah, I, in some of my early degrees, I started studying color psychology. And it fascinated me as to how a person would heal or not get, get better fast or less fast in a hospital if it was colored a certain green versus a yellow. And that just fascinated me as to why the brain perceived these colors in a certain way. So the way that I started being a scientist and a researcher at heart is I wanted to figure out why each one of the plant species had this association with a color. And I used the Manchester color wheel because that's the most studied color psychology and it's our biggest base of research mm -hmm. to start with and I started playing with them and then testing it with my clients and noticed that when I found a perfect color match like this one this beautiful purple here with the purple kush plant if I used a different shade or hue of purple it wouldn't have the same resonancy and then I'd look at it underneath an electronic microscope and it would be fractured instead of this syn uh, synchronous a uh, beautiful kind of snowflake, it was this broken, unhappy, haphazard looking thing. What I would invite you to do as the audience is to take a look at this image and see what color or picture you are most attracted to. Is it this purple, the pink or violet, the red, or the green? and you're going to be choosing a color just through your attraction. For me today, I have been highly attracted to the Destiny's Calling. This one is Purple Kush, Master Kush, Shark's Breath, and Eisenbear are the, these particular species. And each one of them have a different quality, which on the back is the master sheet. So maybe for audience members, they'd be interested to Focus on one of those, maybe mm -hmm. the one that you were drawn to, and then what are the details on the sheet that <laughs> you want to share with us? So the purple is Destiny's Calling, and it's really here to show you how to follow and trust in your personal path and your chosen path. It really helps you relieve the pressures of the day and life pressures. Leaves you feeling confident, supported, nourished, focused, relaxed, and loved. And you would like to use it when you're questioning your calling, your life purpose, you have racing thoughts, you feel alone, confused, lost, disorganized, or heartbroken. And today I have been preparing for this, so I had a little bit of racing thought. So it's been balancing me to, so I can compose myself a little more. So interesting. <laughs> so again, we have uh, Jamie Lynn Thomas, CEO and creator of Canna Essence. And I think what may be good to talk about is we have some essences here, and the issue is, do you get high from this 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 liquid? And, and what what's the reason? Because some people want 
to get high regular uh, where either for uh, recreational use or for medical reasons so if you can just kind of explain a little about that yeah, the special thing about the essences is that they contain no THC or CBD, so they will not get you high in the traditional sense. However, when you're working with the physical, emotional, mental, spiritual levels and you're reconnecting those areas, you can experience huge shifts in your system, which for some people may be perceived as out-of-body experiences or transformational experiences which might include a little bit of hallucinization for some people. But that's not common. Mm. <laughs> that's for the folks who are usually blending it with cranial sacral or other types of modalities. So no THC, no CBDs. No. Okay, so how does it work? <laughs> so for naysayers or for individuals who really want to get a deeper understanding, could you explain like, like how does it work? Yeah, the essences, all flower essences, are energetic imprints, vibrational imprints of the plant. So they're kind of like a unique fingerprint. So each plant has its own special fingerprint. And I use that fingerprint to bring the person from a lower elevation or a lower level of vitality to a higher level because the plant is vibrating at a higher level of vibration. So when we look at them scientifically, we would look at how they're m affecting the meridian systems because that's specifically where we see things happen. And as a scientist, I am really intrigued and would love to do tests and studies as to see if there is some sort of quantum imprint from the cannabis plant that the endocannabinoid system is recognizing, mm. but that it's not present in the final product. I'm glad you mentioned that because I definitely on this show with guests like you want to encourage people to think about doing innovative research, uh, doing evidence-based research, but also pushing research boundaries in new ways. And so maybe it might be nice to backpedal a little bit. You shared with me that you wrote a uh, thesis um, that dealt with some of these issues. So briefly explain the thesis and what was one of your main findings. The, my, I did a thesis on cannabis uh, therapeutics for a clinician and ha I broke down all the different body systems and tried to see how the plant and specific constituents and then the synergistic aspect of the whole plant works in the body. And what I ended up finding was that every single person reacts in a very unique modulated way and if you actually work with the plant clinically you can find a very specific titrated dose that works right for that person so they won't go over the mark or under the mark they get exactly what they need great so if um why don't you just tell people uh, and we still have a long a few more minutes uh, we have about 15 minutes to talk but uh, give people your website and what would they see when they go to your website <laughs> I am a big fan of education and empowerment, and I want you to be using the videos on the website. So the website is www.cannaessence.org. And that's where you'll find a lot of videos, you'll find access to some of my, my monthly webinars, my free programs. Uh, and some cool downloadables and awesome blogs I like to share about the essences and tools you can use even if you don't have them in your in your toolbox. So for the lay person, one more time, explain PEMS and the relationship between PEMS and the these essences. Yeah, the, the physical, emotional, mental, spiritual levels are what is commonly referred to as the body-mind complex. So Janice Pert, she's done, a, or Candice Pert, sorry, uh, she's done a lot of the base research on the body-mind complex, and that's where I take a lot of my base research, and I've just expanded upon it. I've brought in more than just the body-mind. We have an emotional component, and we have a spiritual component that needs to be recognized, and I think it's calling in this new age of new consciousness. This, Folks are trying to raise from a lower level to a higher level. And I can see in 2016 with um, you know economic disenfranchisement and time constraints, everyone feeling a little bit more stressed, 
probably an increase in people taking medicine like synthetic drugs um, that there's a use for this because if people are looking for um, a way to relax, a way to center themselves, a way to get maybe a better connection to, to who they are, especially you have some stuff in here about vibra vibrational remedies that you mentioned mm -hmm. and homeopathic. So for, for people who are sensitive souls that you want to support with canna essences, what do these things mean? And you um, give us like an example, if you can, of maybe one of your clients or an individual who potentially benefited from your um, can of essences? Uh, so the, the first thing that comes to mind is my fibromyalgia trial that we just finished. And uh, we worked with 320 separate patients who were experiencing excessive chronic pain uh, on a scale of one to 10, 10 being the most severe. And they had to be experiencing pain in between seven and 10 for at least the past two weeks. And that I saw transformational results after six weeks of just topical applications. These people experienced 72% of complete acute symptom removal. For the somebody who doesn't under understand what that means, I mean 72% of the people experienced complete pain relief and did not need to go back to their normal procedures. And being an integrative therapeutic practitioner, normally I would be having them work with nutrition, lifestyle changes, watching their environment, diet changes, and instead they just applied an essence to their body twice a week for six weeks and reconnected their pen system. That's awesome. So do you use the stuff yourself? Oh, I do. I love the essences. I use them for my daily self-care. Uh, today I am wearing the purple or the Destiny's Calling in my face cosmetics. And then I took a bath in abundance earlier. So. Wow. <laughs> so um, I think it'd be awesome uh, to talk a little bit more about this beautiful display. So why don't you tell us what's on the display and then what is um, like, as, as a um, demonstration, um, you know, uh, for full disclosure, Jamie and I have been in discussion about this um, show for about a month. So I did receive kindly through um, Jamie in the mail uh, a little packet of can of essences. I've read through them, I've, I've touched the bottles, but I've never actually used okay. the essences. So this will be uh, the, f the global premiere of me <laughs> getting a demonstration with can of essences. So why don't you first tell us what you have here, and of course, one more time, share your website, and um, how can people, if they're interested, get s some of the, this for themselves? Uh, the website is www.cannaessence.com. Dot org C A N N A E S S E N C E dot org. And the way that I've set the business up is we're a wholesaler. We want retailers to carry our product. Currently, we only have a, two main re retailers, and you can find them at Herbs and Arts off of Colfax and also at Spiritwise in Littleton. Are they expensive? Because you know, if I want to get started um, and I cross the line and I have a daily routine, what would be an approximation of uh, if someone wants to kind of ease their way into it? Uh, if you want to ease your way into it, I would suggest that you choose one bottle uh, according to the color or the flower you're most attracted to. And I've tried to make them very affordable. Unlike a lot of other uh, cannabis-related products that you would be seeing something like this, like Fiora, which has a somewhat energetic quality outrageous amounts for an ounce of product. And we're giving you a, a quarter ounce of the product that will last you roughly six weeks, sometimes three months for folks, sometimes longer, uh, for just one bottle. And it's selling between $16 and $28, that's depending upon where you're looking. Got it, that's great. So again, this is an educational program. We have Jamie Lynn Thomas with Canna Essence talking about um, her business and some uh, remedies for us to uh, who are interested to become a little more centered, to uh, have a cleanse, if you will, and then also to um, just kind of shake off, recharge the batteries, and and feel whole again. So Jamie's going to provide a little demonstration, and I'll have you again slowly walk us through mm -hmm. what's on the table and um, uh, for educational purposes, mm -hmm. uh, so people have an idea. So then maybe if they're interested, they can follow up with you. Sounds fantastic. So I'm going to just start with the items here on the bottom, and these larger images here are the color boards. They are part of the color psychology and this is what I'm gonna have you looking at while I am 
putting the product on your body. Okay. These are the treatment cups right here. Oh, he's got them right there. These are the treatment cups. This is the, the practitioner size bottles. So these are the spa size bottles. You can't get this particular size uh, for the lay person. If you're wanting this particular size, you're, you're gonna go through one of my programs and you're gonna get this. Uh, and get trained to do everything step through. So what they could get are smaller bottles. Yeah, yeah. Okay. we end up getting the smaller bottles are the retail size bottles, which are quarter ounce bottles uh, that uh, contain about six, six weeks to six months worth of uh, product, depending upon how you use it. Okay, so what if I'm a person who maybe is highly allergic or I, um, I'm afraid it might burn or like I accidentally ingest it? Like a w just a couple comments about these things. Yeah, I, I am extremely sensitive. So I, I can relate with other people who are sensitive and have lots of allergens. So the reason I created the product was to make it completely allergen friendly. Mm -hmm. There are none of the seven main allergens in the product. So you can be guaranteed that you will not be dosed and then it will actually help and support your uh, vitality. Excellent. So in the remaining uh, five minutes, why don't we have you, uh, yeah, describe a little bit more. You have some cotton balls here, some water. Yeah, I've got some cotton balls, some water, uh, my little holder here. And what I would do is I would just invite you, Marty, to tap into your system and go ahead and do a little body check, what I call the foundation of the Canna Essence work. And I'm gonna encourage you as an audience to also do a body check as well. So what would be the three steps for a body check? So uh, relax, just uh, understand my body, how I'm feeling right now, and then identify like a problem area. Is that kind of um, the, the, for a body check, is that what you encourage people to do? Yeah, yeah, you can be, that's basically the three levels. You would just tap into your system, which is uh, essentially you're doing an inventory from your feet all the way up to your head noticing any areas of discomfort, tension, and areas that are calling for attention. And then it, once you know those areas, that's when you would take a look at the bottles and ask your system what one color would support you the most today. Okay, I think I'm gonna go for the green. You're gonna go for the yeah. green. And in terms of my body check, what I've found out is um, my shoulders, neck area, you know, like many people, that's where I retain a lot of stress. Um, yeah, and so I'm attracted to the green. Um, I, I, my, I mean, a little bit of history, uh, forest green is my favorite color, but um, at the moment, when I look at this, um, it's a pretty picture, but also um, the green is kind of talking to me. And it says, Canna Essence Abundance 5. And abundance, they all have different words. We have grounding, destiny's calling, cleansing. Um, and then we have these uh, colors in the back. So what I would do is, now that you've chosen a color, is I would apply it to the green zone on the body, which is the heart area. And I use warm compresses because warm water goes into the system and allows you to take up the essences more. And then I like to do both sides of the body. So I'm just gonna come on in and I'm gonna be applying right to your front area here. It's gonna kinda go through your clothes. It will not leave a stain. I could feel heat, and that might be from the warm water. Yep, that's heat from the warm water. Sometimes people will notice heat when they're experiencing shifts in their system. And for people who may want THC, do you have versions that have THC, or these are all non-THC, non-CBD? Currently, these are all non-THC, non-CBD, but I am working on another line uh, looking to launch later on in the year or perhaps next year called Canna Enhancer. And it uses a CBD oil that is an international level that will include the Canna Essences in there as well. So it's more of an energetic uh, CBD oil. Excellent. So now that I've applied that to your front and back of your heart space, 
Is there anywhere else on the body that you would like to have the essence applied to? Um, actually, today I've been riding my bikes and my thighs. <laughs> and I don't know if that's going to be awkward with the camera, but uh, so thighs is another area where I have some physical pain. <laughs> or I should say soreness. So I'm going to give you this. Okay. And I'm going to give you this one and okay. go ahead and apply it to your yeah, okay. your thighs right there. So I have cotton balls with um, Abundance 5, mm -hmm. which is a can of essence, and I'm applying it. And even just taking the time, you know, the physicality, like the gestures touching, and then the, the moisture, you know, it's all very relaxing. Mm. <laughs> and then how much time do you recommend that people do this? It can be anywhere between 30 seconds to an hour. It'll all depend upon your system. Something like this, it's gonna take five to seven minutes to apply and go through the body check. So now that you've applied to the main area and then followed your body cues, your body awareness checks, I would then encourage you to tap back into your system, do another body check, and notice what's shifted, what's changed. I guess what I'm also interested in is the smell. So uh -huh. does it also have an aroma? Like if I... S there should be no scent, gotcha. but people will attach their own scent to the essence themselves. And they might experience a different flavor too, mm. according to the colors. Although the form base formula is the same, it's just the essence and the color that change the quality of the water and the solution. Got it. So I think it'd be helpful one more time for people what is canna essence in one or two sentences? Canna essences are flower essences for the new consciousness. And flower essences are herbal extracts that work with the meridian system to balance the physical, emotional, mental, spiritual levels. Thank you, Jamie. That's it for tonight. Thanks again for watching, everyone.